Well, hello everyone, and welcome here to Book of Demons. The first story in what's going to be a series of seven games by Return to Games. Now I'm going to be doing a review of this on GamesExtreme.com, which will be coming up fairly soon. But in order to do a review, I need to actually understand the game. So, this is going to be it. This is going to be me trying out the game and you can view my incoherence, confusedness, discombobulation and so on over the next 10-15 minutes as we just dive in and see what it's like. So, that one, yep, okay, so left click to start, right click for options, click the options, replay intro, well why not, here we go. Ah, the Book of Demons. A truly grim story in our collection, not for the faint of heart. A wandering hero returns home, only to find everything different than remembered. A horrendous evil rose from the depths of hell, devoured the brave and poisoned the living with despair. For in the depths of a place once holy, a dark ritual is concluded. Oh, the ultimate evil has awoken. <laughs> Adventure. Darkness. Horrors. Okay, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I did love the fact that they subtitled "Ah," that and well, I don't know. It looks like a decent place to me. Hmm. Okay, right. Let's see what's loading here. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so I'm going to set a timer from this point for about twenty minutes. Just a moment. That's that counting away. And let's see what we've got here. So we have Warrior. Or, okay, it looks like we can do oh, Rogue is locked and Mage is locked. And it looks like we're starting off with a Warrior. Create character. Thank you for participating in the Book of Demons Early Access. Please remember that this game is still in development and you may, and probably will, experience bugs, unfinished features, or maybe even game crashes. We are working hard to address all these problems and add new features. Your feedback will be as much help to us. At any time, you can use our in-game feedback widget to send us your opinion. Be negative or positive about anything in the game. This will help us make the game better. We hope you can have fun playing our game, even at this stage of production. I do love the fact that they called it the thing trunk. Okay. Alright, okay, so Bratter. No, 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 no. We've got to think of an even Bratter name. In fact, that'll do. Even. Even Bratter. That's an even Bratter name in the game they gave us. Alright. And our signature cards, whatever these are. Uh, an extra attack against additional opponents in range. Throws toxic bombs around. And deals massive damage and stuns a single enemy. It's totally useless against married ones. Let's start the game. Okay. Ooh, hello my dear. Right, first off, options. The music is... and the options, they're still a bit too loud. There we go. Okay, so... Looks like the only thing we have at the moment is this young lady here, so let's go say hello. Is that really you? I'm so happy to see you after all this time. 
It seems like it's been ages since you left our town. I just wish we weren't meeting under such dire circumstances. Back then, it was peaceful. But now, the town is disturbed by a demonic presence that's spreading throughout the land. Most of our friends are gone. Some people fled. Some took their own lives. Some have just vanished. Those who stayed have lost their minds or are too frightened to leave their houses. I'm doing my best to keep everyone's spirits up. But the truth is, we won't survive for long without help. Just don't tell anybody I said that. You must have lots of questions, but I don't have many answers. Talk to the sage if you want to know more. He might be able to help you. Okay, I'm, I'm, I actually quite like this, and it, that's it's just nicely done. A little bit too American accent, perhaps, but uh, that can't be helped. Um, I'm going to regret the fact that I can't do the voices, but in all honesty, that was well voiced. I quite like that. So, what have we got here? We got, the text appeared as she was saying it. That's all right. Um, nothing much we can do there. We can go back. Okay, we can go back. So. We can buy a golden key for 10k. That's locked. Magical cauldron is darked out. So gossip. You have any particular more in mind? Um, I think we've already had this one. Is that really you? Yeah, we've had that one. Okay. I'm so happy. Right. So that's pretty much all we can do with the gut barmaid by the looks of it. So let's close that for a second. Uh, ah, the sage, or as he prefers to be called, the onion. Your arrival brings hope to my old heart. There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. I should know. <laughs> but I beg you not to leave. We need you here. Dark things lurk in the depths beneath the old cathedral. I've seen plenty of evils in my travels, but this makes my journey through the dragon wastes look like a walk in the park. Everything started with the disappearance of our bishop. I fear he has been dragged into the catacombs deep below the church. I do not know what caused such desecration of that holy place. That enigma is yet to be solved. Uh, and you are the only one who can do it. Just remember to be careful. Few who have ventured into the dark made their way back. And those who did were no longer alive. My... God, we finally found out what happened to Deckard Kane's brother! Stay a while and listen. Those of you who don't know who I'm talking about, go and play Diablo. Uh, well, actually, to be totally honest here, uh, given the fact that we've got red ball here and blue ball here, we're kind of playing Diablo, Diablo a little bit ourselves. Okay, so we have an un unlock card slot, identify card, uh, gossip. Uh, see, gossip, we've already done that one. Okay, so I'm gonna, guessing there's four people in the town, and if we do that, yeah, we can switch between them. Okay, so we know two of them at the moment. Uh, close that. Does someone else appear? Mm. Ah, 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 ooh, yay. Quest one, the cook. Going down. It's two, the anti-pope. Going down. <laughs> <laughs> Ducky. <laughs> right, okay, so. Uh, it looks like our story progression is... Here. So we've got a monster there. Monster there, monster there. I wonder what, how, what we do. What if we click? Oh, okay, right. So there we go. Right. So now we have. I am the sword that splits darkness. I am the banana that trips the hero. Okay, so can we was the yeah was the keys? Okay, click anywhere to move, click behind or on your character to stop, your character will stop it into sections. Okay. So, alright, so that's an intersection. Can we go here? No, we can't, we can't, we cannot stray from the path. So let's go here. You can interact on objects in your light radius. Oh, I see, okay. 
So those are the things we can interact with, but these are. So get a bit of cash out of that. Alright. Cash is always good. Okay. Not entirely certain what we did there, to be honest with you, but whatever it was, we did it. And that's the important thing. Click to choose a target. Your character auto-attacks. Auto-attack is slow. Each when engaged with monsters, click and hold to retreat. Okay. Ah, there's some more here. But if you spam click, you can get... Okay, so there we go. This is the auto attack. A bit slow. But if you spam click, you get a lot more out of it. Okay, that's alright. All right, so at the moment... Icons at the top indicate points of interest. The icon is revealed when you're getting near. Okay, so... Chest. I wonder where that is. Alright, what do we have here? Mighty blow! Spell cards consume mana when used. Can only be used if you're targeting an enemy unit. Okay, alright. So this is where the card playing element comes in. View your cards by pressing C or using the button in the right the, the button in the right hand bottom corner. Okay, rearrange cards between your card pane and slots by clicking and dragging them. Only equipped cards are active. And somebody sent me a text message. Of course they did. Close. Okay, it's a new gossip in town, and we have that card. Okay, so mighty blow. Shockwave throws back damage three. Half, uh, okay, all right. So uh, there we go. There's a volunteer to use that. Health was your life. Your heart points don't auto regenerate. Use fountains and cards to recover health. You can always go back to town and be healed by the healer for free. Okay, right, well. Can I drop it on him? No, I'm struggling a little bit to use these. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> okay. All right. So level up. Right. Let's uh, first of all let's look at. Uh, Okay, the okay I'm um, right we'll see okay one ah okay now I see okay there's a number down there a keyboard and a one right that makes a lot of sense okay so let's fall back a little bit all right and level up so we can gain one health or one mana let's get some health go An adept bin collector. All right. I can see that the sanctity of this place has been fouled. Ugh. It might have something to do with the graffiti, I suppose. All right. Okay. So we get some cash there, and some cash there, and Let's give him a bump on the noggin. Okay, so I think that. Well, let's see if that does regain itself. I don't think it is. We'll see. And down we go. On to the next level. Okay, so. So we've got the skeleton warrior. So the next one is this one. Couple left. Couple left. Let's say hello, shall we? Alright. 
Okay, uh, took a point of damage there, but we'll survive. I mean, to be honest with you, at first I was afraid. I was petrified. <clears throat> but... I learned to live without you by my side. Great. New card! Health potion! Item cards consume charges when used. You can charge them at a fortune teller or find charges in the dungeon. Okay, so, alright, so actually we've got a couple of points of damage, so let's try that. So, two. Yeah, heals me up nicely. There we go. Ooh. Ah! Boss! Bosses are uh, the more vice the boss, the more rewards he drops when slain. All bosses' lives are shown in the boss bar before each life. The boss is immune. Okay, he is preparing a special attack. Alright, okay, right. So. Let's fall back a little bit, actually. Alright. Okay, uh, just one moment there, I was getting a call. Alright, okay, so let's see if we can deal with these guys first. Alright, that's that one. Uh, are we close enough to deal with this? No, we're not. Um, uh, zombies and some uh, on death zombies explode with a shockwave that poisons everyone around. Zombies cannot be poisoned. They are healed instead. Alright, makes sense. Alright, one down. Two down. Can we target this guy now? We can. Good. Let's give him a bit of a bonk on the knob in. There we go. Alright. Okay. Let's just back away a little bit. Alright, I don't know any way of re regaining any health points, uh, any energy here, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, I think we're doing fairly good against this guy. He's a tutorial boss after all, so... And here he goes on to his next incarnation. Basically, he just... He's a party guy, he just likes to have his friends along. Alright, and you take this! Check that. Okay, level up, and gosh, stuff's back, and some nice stuff, and there's a chest here. The chest you came from the chest you visited. Golden footprints mean a corridor has been fully visited. Normal footprints partly visited. No footprints, you haven't been there yet. Okay, so we got a golden footprint one here. Let's grab the stuff from here. Okay, that gave us oh, that gave us an extra hit point. Very nice. And here we go. Uh, cauldron, cauldron. Okay, all right. Level up. Um, so a point of magic. There we go. Oh, I see. Okay, so if we put it, if we up our 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 mana, then the hit points go into the cauldron and vice versa. Alright. So, whatever was in there is now gone. Those are all broken. We've done everything down here based on the, on the golden footprints, so let's just go this way quickly. So there's the stairs down. Uh, don't know what you were, but you aren't one of the... Oh, you were a zombie. Okay. Let's just have a look here. And yet you bonked on the head, fair enough. Level clear! On we go. Right, so that has cleared that level. So we can then go down to the next one or go back to town. Let's go back to town. A new person to talk to! And new stuff for people who are I've been busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft. 
And I don't mean her skill with guards. It's called prize brewing, and it's the art of producing powerful magical elixirs that someone like you should find useful. All you need to do is collect the ingredients. I'll take care of the rest. Now, this is the magical stuff I'm talking about. So there are some rules. First, the more ingredients I mix, the greater the potion's power will be. Second, you can drink it and enjoy a little magic any time you want. But the process will get more expensive each time. Third, if monsters slay you in the dungeons, the potion will weaken. It's because I'm making them just for you, so they have to be magically linked to your essence. Okay, alright. So... Magical Cauldron, Golden Key we still can't afford. Okay, so we can collect prizes, one mana, one life, for 500. Be nice to see how much we've got. Can I see that anywhere? Okay, if I can see it... Oh, there we go, 1,097. Alright, so, okay. Collect our prizes. There we go. Uh, okay, so that's given us a point of everything, which is quite nice, to be honest with you. I could live with that. Alright, let's go and see what Deckard has to say. Few living souls venture into the depths under the cathedral, as this is the realm where the dead rest or at least should be resting. Countless warriors, men of the cloth, mages, and even kings of old were buried there with troves of gold and gems. But the dead are now restless. Quickened by some unholy powers, they are haunting the corridors like wild animals, and their courage, virtue, and talents have been replaced with mindless violence. I mean, their painful existence will be an act of mercy if you ask me. Okay, so, right, we killed Skeleton Warriors. Right, um... I never thought I would say it, but compared to other dwellers of the underground, this is just a plain old walking skeleton. Alright, so that's just giving us information on the monsters we fought. I can live with that. Few living souls yes, 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 thank you very much. Greetings, traveler. People call me the fortune teller. I'm pleased to see there are souls courageous enough to visit a place like this and stay. In sure. truth, I came here recently myself, <clears throat> as I had to leave the royal capital. I am certain you have already heard about me and my excellent skills from the lovely barmaid I'm tutoring. Believe me when I say you will find my craft most useful in your adventures. Feel free to talk to me should you need any assistance. The townsfolk are good, but simple people, and know little about the arcane. That sage may be an exception, but his wit, not to mention his social skills, are clearly dulled by age. <laughs> We're all lucky that cranky old men tend to be harmless. Speak for yourself. Alright. Okay. Magical cards oh. are my specialty. They represent a novel approach to magic, offering a superior alternative to clunky weaponry and verbose spellcasting. Unfortunately, new things are often frowned upon, even more so in quaint places like this town. Can you imagine not so long ago those people traded with a local blacksmith? This is so Middle Ages. <laughs> no wonder he went bankrupt. But let's get back to business. Cards are universal magical items which can manifest properties of weapons, spells, and other artifacts. Some consume magical essence once used, but they can be recharged using objects found in the dungeons or with <laughs> my help at a reasonable price. Just like with playing cards, the trick is to find the right combination of magical properties that gives you the best advantage. Okay. Right, uh, okay, and she can do stuff with cards and fuse runes and whatever that is, which we will probably find out during the course of the game. Alright, first appear impression. I, I quite like this, to be honest with you. I like the humour. There's a couple of good touches to it.
Uh, I like the uh, the design, the atmosphere, and I, serious homage to Diablo, which is always good in my book, to be honest with you. Can we break these? No, we can't. All right. So overall, I think uh, I'm quite impressed by this. Uh, you will, of course, be able to see a more in-depth review of this on gamesextreme.com and depending on whether or not you guys like it so please do comment on it and like it and what have you I may actually do a series on it we shall see but that is up to you guys so until the next time I've been Simon Parsons this has been Book of Demons thank you and good night